the Great Wall is the largest man-made project in the world. The complete route is over 20,000 kilometers, stretching from the East Seaside to the West Desert in northern China, winding up and down across mountains and plateaus like a dragon. The Great Wall stretches across 15 northern Chinese provinces, municipalities and autonomous regions, from the Bohai Sea in the east to the Gobi Desert, 2,500 kilometers away in the west. There are 15 geographically important passes built along the route. The first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang took the remnants of ancient fortifications, walls, and earthworks and linked them into a unified wall circa 220 BC. This picture shows the first pier of the Great Wall which was built with rammed lus in 1539 AD. The Great Wall is not a single structured wall. It includes beacon towers, barriers, barracks, garrison stations, and fortresses along the walls, together forming an integrated defense system. The Great Wall is a massive monument built with different materials. Most of the sections we see today were built with bricks and cut stone blocks A and lime mortar was used to hold the bricks together. Where bricks and blocks weren't available, tamped earth uncut stones, and wood were used as local materials. Shanghai Pass was a fortress built in the Ming Dynasty, 1368-1644, and is the first pass in the east of China. It is located outside of Qinhuangdao City on Bohai Bay and 305 kilometers away from Beijing. Given its strategic location, it's reputed as the first pass under heaven. Jiayu Pass is famous for being the first frontier fortress at the western end of the Great Wall of China in the Ming Dynasty. Among the hundreds of passes of the Great Wall, Jiayu Pass is one of the most well-preserved passes in existence. It's one of the four greatest love legends in ancient China. Lady Mingjiang's husband was sent to build the Great Wall, and never gave news. She departed to bring winter clothes to him but heard that he had already died. She wept so bitterly that part of the wall collapsed. Some say that the texts on the bricks is a method that General Qi Jiguang devised in order to assess the quality of the bricks made by the soldiers, and to clarify the responsibilities. However, historians question this. The Great Wall is the product of countless labors over a period of 2,000 years, and is a feast of engineering. It also reflected the collision and exchanges between the agricultural and nomadic civilizations, 